Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing around with the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powders. I was super excited for these. Um, if you guys know, the Pretty Fresh line is literally like my favorite line from ColourPop. I wear the Pretty Fresh foundation, the primer, and the concealer pretty much every single time I do my makeup. But this is like literally the only foundation I wear. Um, so I was so excited to see that they were coming out with a pressed face powder. Sorry I'm a little behind on this. I was waiting for them to come in the mail. As you guys know, I get my PR and stuff from ColourPop. Um, and I was like waiting and waiting and they never <laughs> came. So, I mean, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. So I was going to order them on the ColourPop website, but I know like the ColourPop website takes a while sometimes. So I was like, Ugh. let me see if they'll be at Ulta. I been in Ulta stores yesterday. So I went right when they opened, grabbed a couple. So I grabbed two of them. The only thing I will say is I don't think Ulta has all the colors that the ColourPop website has because I originally went in to get light 7 because that's what the ColourPop website said would match my foundation shade. Um, for reference, I'm light 45W in the foundation. Um, and it said light 7 would be my shade. So I like went in there and I asked them because they hadn't put them out yet, but they had them still in the back. And I was like, hey, could you grab me um, light 7? And she came back and said they only had light 6 and light 8. And I was like, Hmm. And that's why I, th I think it was like the same thing on the Ulta website too because I had looked. Um, so I ended up getting Fair 4 and Light 6. Hopefully, hopefully those end up working out for me. Um, but on the website it did say that Light 7 would be my like perfect match. So I don't know. Um, it wasn't available at Ulta so I just settled for these ones. I got these two just because I figured um, I'd rather have a lighter one than a darker one. I feel like a lighter powder is a little bit easier to work with if it doesn't exactly match than like a darker one, you know? So um, let's see what light six looks like. This is what the compacts look like. They kind of look like the Soul Body um, like highlighter com compacts and stuff, but they are a little bit thicker. But like I said, these are already available. These launched uh, a couple days ago on the ColourPop website. As always, you guys can use my code. It's just Katrina and it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. It will work on these uh, products. So, um, and like I said, I did get mine at Ulta. So I did pick them up um, and they were $14, I think each. Let me see how much they are. $14 each. I bought two of them. So I was able to use uh, my, the 350 coupon at Ulta. So saved me a little bit of money. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can just pick them up on the ColourPop website as well. Just open it up and it does have like a little powder puff in here. Oh, I think this shade actually will be fine. This one's light six. So I have a little puff and then um, the mirror Oops. Um, let me see what Fair 4. I got Fair 4 just in case I wanted to use it for like my under eyes and stuff. Um, so yeah, Fair 4. I think honestly both of these could match me. I'll see which one looks better, but um, I am going to use this on its own today. Let me give you guys some info about like what uh, this is. It says it's a healthy and natural finish. Buildable creamy powder formula that blends down to a skin-like finish for extra fresh looking revived complexion. You can wear it alone or on top of foundation. I think I am going to wear it alone today which is like with some concealer. There are 18 shades and it says that they will work on all 42 of the um, shade ranges for the actual Pretty Fresh foundation. Um, it has sunflower seed extract, cucumber fruit extract. Yeah, there is a 0.45 grams of product in here if you guys were wondering. I'm gonna try this out today and see what it looks like as kind of like a powder foundation type of situation um, but I am gonna put like concealer on under my eyes and stuff and I'll probably set it with um, maybe Fair 4. I have normal to dry skin. Uh, I'm like used to wearing powder foundations. I really love the Fenty one. That one I wear all the time and I love how that one sits on my skin so um, I think with a lot of prep even if you have like dry skin I think powder foundations and powders can work really well without looking too drying. Today's I already have some moisturizer on. I have my Fenty uh, overnight moisturizer. Um, and then I also am going to prime my face with the Pretty Fresh Primer, which this is my favorite primer of all time. It's like a key for powder foundations. I use this primer with the Fenty powder foundation too. I said for reference, I am light 45W in the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Liquid Foundation, and that is a perfect match for me. The same shade as the foundation in the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. So I'm gonna use the little puff that it comes with on one side of my face first, um, and then if not, I'm gonna try a brush and see how that looks if I don't like it with the puff. I do have two different brushes that I like to use with powder foundation. I have the Alamad bronzer brush, even though it's a bronzer brush, I like to use it for um, foundation. And then I also like the Fenty 125 brush. I use this one for their powder foundation as well. Going with concealer really quick first, I'm just taking the Pretty Fresh one. Again, I am in the shade Light 45. So I'm just taking a little bit just right here. 
I'm gonna blend that out with a sponge. Take whatever's left around like my nose. And just like in this area where there's some redness. I think I'm good with concealer. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more just right here and right there. Um, but I love this concealer. If you have dry under eyes, this is a great one. Um, I have pretty dry under eyes, so. The Fresh line from ColourPop is seriously so good though. I love every single product in there. The primer, the foundation, I love the tinted moisturizer. So I was so excited to see that they were coming out with a powder as well. So I'm gonna see which shade will work better for my skin to see like oh that one is a little light i don't know if you can, can see it on camera but it's right here it kind of blends in but i th think it might make me look a little pale so let me see what um light six looks like oh yeah that actually yeah that's like a perfect match so i use fair four under my eyes just to set that concealer since i have it here and see how that looks. I only set my under eyes with the Fenty setting powder, but um, this actually looks pretty nice. Definitely made that area look pretty smooth as well. Um, it does look a little matte, but it doesn't feel drying or anything under my eyes, which is nice. That's kind of how it looks right now with um, just my under eyes with some concealer. Let's say it feels very silky smooth, like the powder itself feels very soft to like the touch. Um, it doesn't feel like dry or anything. So, um, I'm gonna go in with light six and I'm gonna put it on this side of my face first and I'm gonna try it with the little puff that it comes with. See it, like how much coverage and stuff that gives me. Um, I think this is more of like obviously it's not like a full coverage powder foundation or anything like that. It's just a pressed powder. Um, so I'm assuming it's more like a light coverage kind of situation, which I don't mind. I like lighter coverage anyway. So, um, going in with light six now taking some on the little puff seems like to be a good match it might be like a little light I do think maybe light seven would have been the better option but it wasn't available at Ulta so um it is covering some of like the freckles that I have on my face um but not anything super crazy oh yeah you can see it on my neck it is a little light a little bit <laughs> um but it definitely seems like it is mattifying as well, but it doesn't feel dry. Um, so, oh yeah, you could definitely see it mattified my forehead up there. I'm just pressing that into my skin. I do like that there is a pretty big mirror. I mean, not huge, but it is a bigger mirror than like a lot of other powder foundations and stuff. Um, but so far, I feel like it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's like heavy on the skin or anything it's sitting on my face pretty nicely the clip right here if you guys could see like the side by side see how it looks like oh it feels really like soft like it honestly doesn't feel like i have anything on my skin and it kind of just feels very like silky um but this is i'll show you guys like what it looks like side by side with nothing besides like concealer so just bare skin right here compared to how it looks with the powder. I'm gonna see how it goes on if I apply it with a brush now. I'm gonna use the Alamad Cosmetics one and see how that looks, if I can even tell like a difference, um, like which one I like more, but I think it looks fine with a little puff. There's like a piece of glitter on my face. Um, so I'm just taking some on the brush and just patting that on. I feel like I do get more coverage with the little powder puff. I will say my nose does look a little dry, um, but that's, it's not, I've definitely seen worse with other powder foundations, and it's not anything too crazy, it's just like right here, and honestly, I have drier skin right there, so I'm not surprised. Like, I really can't tell a difference with, like, using a brush and using the powder puff, um, especially, like, a more dense brush like this, I feel like you kind of get, like, the same kind of application, maybe, like, a little bit more coverage um, with the puff, but... It's a light coverage product, so it's not like anything super crazy. I think just um, me using the product, I probably would use a brush more than like the little puff, but um, I think they both applied really well. I'm just kind of going over both sides now with the brush just to kind of even it out. It's still a little pale. Um, I just like feel like it's washing me out a little bit, but I'm sure like once I put bronzer and everything on, I think it'll be fine. But again, it feels very smooth. Like my skin feels very soft. I wasn't expecting it to look this nice, especially since it isn't marketed as like a powder foundation. It's kind of like, you know, you can wear it alone or on top of like the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. It's like more of a sheer kind of 
powder and stuff, but I do think that it still gives a decent amount of coverage. Um, I would say it's more light medium, if anything, more so on the lighter side, but I think it still looks really nice. It's matte. It's for sure matte. It's not like I don't think it is like a more satiny finish because I don't see too much of like a glow to my skin. Maybe a little bit right here, but I think that was more so from like my moisturizer and my um, primer underneath. Um, but I definitely would say like I even saw like when I put it on my forehead, it definitely took away that shine. Yeah, that's how it's looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you guys what it looks like um, once it's all applied. I'll also insert a little clip right here of how it looks now all over my face. You guys want to see what that looks like. But yeah, so far I think it looks pretty good. Um, shade match is all right. It's sitting on the skin really nicely. Again, my skin, I cannot get over like how smooth it feels. It feels very, very smooth and silky soft. Okay, guys, so my camera died like while I was finishing up my like sentence. This is how it's looking now once the rest of my makeup is on. I'll put a little close up right here of how it looks up close. And I just sneeze and like now my eyes are all watery. It's kind of like taking my time doing my makeup. Honestly, I was watching um, Ashley's vlog right now. Um, I have the powder on now for like maybe half an hour like while I was doing the rest of my makeup and stuff. Um, honestly, I'm really surprised with how much I like it. I think it actually looks really nice. I wasn't expecting much from the powder, especially since it's just a pressed powder. It's not like full coverage or anything like that. Like I thought this would end up being just like a powder I would use to like set my foundation stuff later down the line, but on its own, I'm honestly really shocked with how much I like it. I think my skin looks so nice. It really does add that smoothing effect. Um, I do think now that I have the rest of my makeup on and stuff, I feel like it is a little blurring. Like in this area, I feel like it's a little bit blurred. It looks really nice and it's not overly matte, which I also really like too. It doesn't look dry. Like my skin doesn't look dry and stuff. And then um, it's still pretty fresh. <laughs> no pun intended um pretty fresh on my skin right now so I think once like you know I start walking around and kind of like warm up a little bit and you know it kind of just like starts to settle on my skin a little bit I feel like it'll look really nice all of my products went on on top of it really well I use my Elamata bronzer like always I used the ColourPop blushes like I always do so that that glow that you are seeing is from that blush it's not so much the powder um I do think like the rest of my skin it again like I it feels so like smooth um by the way if you guys are wondering on my lips I have cabaret um on my lips from ColourPop this is the fresh kiss lip lacquer I'm gonna do a wear test a little bit um I don't know how long I'm gonna have this on it is already pretty late in the day I got like started pretty late filming and stuff it is 3 35 so I've had this on for about half an hour now. I'll try to do like maybe a four or five hour wear test. I don't have much too much to do today. I'm trying to stay home as much as possible. If I don't need to go out, I'm trying not to. Um, I may need to go to Target a little bit later to go pick up an order. So I'll try to see like what I can do like wear test wise. I will try to do at least like four hours. <laughs> I'll say anywhere like on the actual like packaging or any and the information that it's like super long wearing or anything. So I'm not expecting it to. I'll definitely follow up with you guys in a little bit to show you guys how it is um, sitting on the skin and how it's wearing through the day and stuff. So far, I am loving it. I think it looks really nice so yeah I'll see you guys in a few hours hey guys so um, I actually ended up <laughs> being able to film a pretty decent wear test it is 9 50 right now so I've had this on for about like a little over six hours maybe like six and a half because I think I initially had applied it at like three um, yeah I wasn't initially going to um, film a wear test this long but I ended up taking a little little nap a little nap a little while ago and I I got up and I was like oh shit it is about to be 10 o'clock um so yeah it is actually holding up really well it is getting a little shiny right here um but that's not anything out of the ordinary for me when it comes to wear tests and stuff if you've seen any of my other like foundation wear tests and things um I usually get a little shiny right here so it's not anything too crazy though I honestly think it looks really nice still um, like I said earlier, I was really excited to see how it would look once it kind of warmed up to my skin and everything and I'll put a little close-up right here of how it looks at this moment right now. I have not touched up or anything at all. I also want to say I didn't end up going anywhere. I didn't even end up going to go pick up my order at Target today. I'll go pick it up in the morning. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. But I do think, you know, I did fall asleep for a little bit. I was, you know, 
sleeping <laughs> um, and I think it held up really well my blush is still very apparent my bronzer everything like that one of the like big selling points for me when I do like powders and powder foundations is I feel like they're a lot easier to touch up since it is a powder um, and not kind of like how you will like touch up with powder over like liquids and stuff so that is like one of the main selling points to me when it does come to powders and powder foundations so I am gonna touch up a little bit really like I honestly would leave it like this I'm just going to touch up a little bit right here yeah that is a really good um touch up little application right there I think it like looks really nice it doesn't look um it doesn't look like cakey going over it either um it did kind of build up a little bit around my nose right here but again that's normal I have really like it's really dry around my nose area so put a little bit more right there but other than that I wouldn't really necessarily go over it any more than that um I don't mind looking like a little shiny like it's not that big of a deal I also want to say it did hold up pretty well under my eyes it did crease a little bit um but usually pressed powders do not work for me when it comes to setting my concealer or anything I always have to go in with my Fenty setting powder because that's like the only thing that doesn't make my under eyes crease and even this it'll crease like a little bit but it's like the only thing that usually doesn't um so I'm actually pretty surprised with how it held up with setting my under eyes as well um but I think it looks really good honestly very very impressed so yeah I didn't like expect to like it this much um but I think it looks really nice and I honestly might be using this uh more often just like because it's a little bit easier just to kind of go over with powder sometimes um and especially since it isn't like as full coverage I think that's also really nice too because I like using my Fenty one but it does have pretty good coverage and I don't usually like to especially nowadays like I don't really need the coverage I'm not really going anywhere or anything so something just to throw on I actually really love how this looks so I'm pleasantly surprised pretty fresh line is literally my favorite so this did not disappoint it just makes the pretty fresh line even better um but if you guys have never tried the liquid foundation it is literally the best foundation ever like I nothing compares to this foundation for me like this is still my holy grail I love this so much. Same with the primer. Like, I have repurchased the primer and the foundation so many times with the concealer. So, I love the whole Pretty Fresh line. I think this is such a great addition to it. See, I don't think it, like, oxidized, but I feel like once I had everything else on on the rest of my face, it didn't look like that much of a light shade for me when it came to the powder. So, um, but I don't think it oxidized at all. I think it still looks like the same shade that I applied it initially. If you guys were wondering... I forgot to mention this earlier, but like I said, there were um, 8.5 grams of product in here. The Fenty has 9.1 grams of product um, for reference, and then also the uh, L'Oreal Infallible has 9 grams of product. So you get a little bit, like, less um, in the ColourPop one, like half a gram or so. Um, the Fenty one is... I can't remember the exact price, but I know it's like in the 30s um, range. I think the L'Oreal one might be like around the same price range, if not like maybe a little bit more. I know L'Oreal ends up being a lot more expensive for drugstore products. I'll put some shade references and stuff down below if you guys are around the same um, foundation shade as I am. I am very, very excited for the new e.l.f. powder foundation to come out. So whenever that launches at Ulta or on their website, whatever one, whichever one comes first. So I know it did launch at Ulta already, but like pretty much all the shades sold out like instantly. I never even got a chance to purchase them so whenever they're those will like either restock or launch on the elf website i will be purchasing and doing a video on that because i'm so excited for elf's powder foundation this one i am very pleasantly surprised and i actually think that this might be like part of my new routine like makeup routine it's just so much faster sometimes to apply powder um sometimes i like i'm lazy <laughs> and even just like going to the sink to like wet my beauty like beauty blender it's just if I could take one less step to do so I will so I really really like this I'm very happy with it um I definitely recommend picking up one um if not two maybe for like your under eyes because I do think it set my concealer pretty well pretty much it for this video definitely two thumbs up for me five out of five love it definitely recommend it also did you guys see the moon Knight trailer it came on a little while ago and I was so excited also I literally yelled because Kid Cudi's day and night was in the trailer and my two worlds colliding Marvel and Kid Cudi like I was so excited um anyway that was me nerding out for like two seconds but um if you guys haven't seen the Moon Knight trailer please go watch it but anyways um yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video bye